Hello everyone, it's July 18th. This article from PackAlertPress.com Obama to turn over control of U.S. oceans to the U.N. In his latest scheme to end U.S. sovereignty, Obama is renewing his efforts for the U.S. to join the United Nations Law of the Sea Treaty. The U.S. has refused to do this for the last 30 years, but this could be the year that we lose control of our seas if Obama has his way. Not only would it give the UN control of the world's seas, but it would actually allow the UN to tax American citizens and companies. Also, US energy companies would have to pay royalties to the International Seabed Authority in Kingston, Jamaica, and force them to abide by UN rules when it comes to deep sea exploration. If the U.S. signs this, we will lose a huge part of our sovereignty to the United Nations. The effort for the U.S. to ratify the Law of the Sea Convention has been a long-term goal for White House Counselor John Podesta, founder of the highly influential George Soros-funded think tank, the Center for American Progress. Podesta is a member of a group calling itself Joint Ocean Commission Initiative, which seeks to have the U.S. ratify laws and regulations governing the seas. The Joint Ocean Committee Commission Initiative is a key partner of Citizens for Global Solutions, or CGS, which according to its literature envisions a, quote, future in which nations work together to abolish war, protect our rights and freedoms, and solve the problems facing humanity that no nation can solve alone, end quote. CGS, in turn, is a member organization and supporter of the World Federalist Movement, which openly seeks a one-world government. The World Federalist Movement considers the CGS to be its U.S. branch. Obama, on Wednesday, criticized the Senate for its reluctance to ratify the law of the Sea Convention, stating, quote, We cannot exempt ourselves from the rules that apply to everyone, end quote. Well, that's funny, because Obama frequently exempts himself from rules that apply. It's a, harder, a lot harder to call on China to resolve its maritime disputes under the Law of Sea Convention when the United States Senate has refused to ratify it, despite the repeated insistence of our top military leaders that the treaty advances our national security, Obama told new graduates at the military U.S. Military Academy in West Point. In 2012, Obama's Interagency Ocean Policy Task Force, created in 2010 by executive order, of course, because that's how he operates, recommended the U.S. join the U.N.'s Law of the Sea Convention. The convention defines the rights and responsibilities of nations in their use of the world's oceans establishing guidelines for businesses, the environment, and the management of marine natural resources. Republican lawmakers mounted fierce opposition to the U.S. joining the U.N. law. Earlier this week, the State Department held an, quote, our ocean, end quote, conference that attracted star power when Leonardo DiCaprio appeared and pledged $7 million for ocean conservation. Secretary of State John Kerry spoke at the Oceans Conference where he called for 10% of U.S. oceans to be considered marine protected areas and suggested this be coordinated with the U.N. He continued, and we need to push harder, all of us, for U.N. agreements to fight carbon pollution in the first place because the science proves that that's the only way we'll have a chance of reducing the impact of climate change, which is one of the greatest threats facing not just our ocean, but our entire planet, end quote. Kerry previously served as chairman of the Senate Subcommittee on the Oceans. He explained at this week's ocean event, the Ocean Conference had been a priority of his for years. Yeah, I'll bet it is. Literally, from the time I was growing up as a child in Massachusetts, when I first dipped my toes in the mud off Woods Hole Ocean, Oceanic Graphic, in that area of Buzzards Bay and at the Cape, and was introduced to clamming and to fishing and all of those great joys of the ocean, I have had this enormous love and respect for what the ocean means to us." Quote. In a video address 
to the World Ocean Summit in 2014, held this past February, Kerry called for a, quote, global understanding, end quote, of how to govern U.S. oceans. Kerry stated, I absolutely endorse the notion, as does President Obama, that we need some kind of global understanding about how we will enforce and what how we will enforce regulations and what rules we will put in place in order to preserve our fisheries and manage our coastlines and do the things necessary to reduce the pollution and preserve these ecosystems. It is going to take some kind of global understanding, end quote. Well, the first thing we need to preserve is our Constitution. And secondly, we need to purge the White House of all of these corrupt people who are in office. And as far as our oceans go, our oceans have been doing pretty fine for several years. If we can just cut down all this pollution and crap that people are dumping into them, but I don't think it's the United Nations that needs to take over our oceans. Oh my gosh, these people are just... They have to come out. They have to get out of office. We have to do something to get these people out. Please circulate this information. Have a great day, everyone.